What's going on, man? It's your boy, Carrie. So you're new to R&B. You're trying to figure out what kind of songs can I learn. So let's start with something that may be a little bit more familiar to you if you've ever heard uh, Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. If you're not, if you haven't heard that, then that's what we're going to go over today. Um, it's not a lot of chords. Um, and it's just, it's a really simple song, but it can work on if you have a blues background, you can start to in incorporate some of your blues stuff and start trying to try to transition over into more of a, a soulful R&B. So the song, we're going to start in that A minor. The song's in the key of C major. We're going to start on that six. So if you're not that well versed in the number system, I have courses on the number system. I like to use the numbers in order to make things like a quick reference. So we're going to start on that six. I'm going to use a minor 11 shape. Now with my index finger, I'm not going to play that B string. I'm letting it ring out. Then I'm going to go open E, fat string. Then I'm going to go that third fret. G, then back to A. And I'm kind of striking the string. And when you're going to go transi transition in the song, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Yeah. She goes away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Whenever we get ready to change, we're going to go to that E minor. If we're doing the number system, that would be that, that three. We're going to chromatic down. That same shape, that same minor seven shape. That D minor, back to that three. Arpeggiate it backwards. Back to C. You want to play that line? If you want to add a little bit more soulfulness to it, a little bit more attitude. like a lot of blues licks just an octave just a C and an A now you'll see vacillate between the minor 11 shape and the minor 7 shape I'll bounce, bounce in between the both of those you can play either one depending on like how you want the sound to sound. I don't want you to get caught up in like, well, he's playing it this way, he's playing it this way. It's a feel thing, you know, like how the song feels to me in the, in the moment. So uh, there's no one right, there's no wrong way to play the song. Either you use the minor 11 shape or the minor seven shape. It's, it's more of a feel thing, so. You want to do like some hammer on? There's a whole lot of attitude that you can start to add to it, especially if you know like the minor pentatonic. You can use a lot of those different shapes, the double stop movements. So if you have a blues background, you're trying to get more into R&B, you want to kind of like start to kind of move out a little bit from just so bluesy. Um, Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone is a great song because it allows you to do simple blues movements, but you can incorporate some of the hammer-ons when it's more R&B. And even another kind of like R&B kind of sauce move that I use, if you're kind of like trying to get a little bit more advanced, um, you go to that, that D or the number two. You can slide down to that minor nine, D minor nine. You can do that melody. There you go. Hi there, it's Carrie. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
There's so much great content on this channel that's really gonna help you unlock the fretboard and play the way that you've always wanted to play. So go ahead, click the subscription button and that notification bell over there. So that way you're always getting the awesome videos and the content that I drop at least once a week. Thank you so much for watching and keep on practicing. I'll see you soon.